Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun. Another set of sunspots is coming in now. We'll see a paper on cycles and take a deeper look at that crack in the magnetic field many of you heard about the last day. We also hope to come back for a live Q&A show around noon Mountain Time. That'll be 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. But let's start with our star, where solar flaring remains in C-class range as the big sunspots on the north are decaying and the south is underdeveloped. Coronal hole solar wind from the departing dark patches is expected to arrive within 12 to 24 hours. Without the flaring, there's also been a definitive lack of CME production on the Earth-facing half of the sun. Hopefully that continues. As we mentioned, the northern sunspots are in a slow decay, not fervently active at the moment, but behind them over the limb, I will zoom in here to the next grouping, we've got another one coming in for Christmas. Quick stop at this paper where solar forcing of decadal and centennial cycles is present, with a combination of solar and internal variability playing at the millennial scale, including for the Dansgaard Oeschger events. This is nothing you haven't heard before, but this was a study of the Cretaceous period, a greenhouse period, and so that long ago, and despite the similar atmospheric conditions to today in terms of chemistry, it was still the sun dominating the scene. Now, we have had no CMEs or coronal hole impacts this week, and yet a crack opened in the magnetic field and let plasma stir the auroras. Why? The blue panel second from the top is the phi angle, and you can see its variability. That is the phi angle of the solar wind, implicating our interaction with the sun's current sheet. The sun's current sheet not only represents the magnetic reversal point in the solar system in terms of the solar wind magnetic fields, but it carries with it different plasma chemistry and character. Through that sheet runs the interplanetary magnetic field connections, which NASA calls magnetic portals. During the interactions where the solar wind reverses, every eight minutes, a flux transfer event drills plasma right past Earth's protective magnetic field and into the upper atmosphere every eight minutes this happens and no it's not in climate models and the crack in the field happens pretty regularly in addition to space weather impacts we get hit by the current sheet of the sun for several hours every seven to ten days and yes it is no different at the galactic scale there for about 200 to 300 years our solar system gets hit by the galactic current sheet and it happens about every 12,000 years. It causes the magnetic reversal at the galactic level and impacts our entire solar system, especially the sun. This Parker spiral and associated Parker instability has been identified at the Milky Way and several other galaxies and also contains the poloidal magnetic field component as is shown in NASA's own animation here. And the interstellar magnetic portals as well, streaming through the equatorial rippling wave. For more on this and the chaos it's already causing and going to cause, watch the Earth Disaster Playlist linked below the video. Don't forget, we'll be in Cheyenne on January 7th. Come for a live observer's event. Get your tickets at the link also found below the video. And lastly, folks, don't forget we hope to do a Blitz tour next year, so if you are in one of these cities, eyes open. And if you own a restaurant or event space, we would love to come to an observer's house, so let us know that as well. If that's you, email us at observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to tickets and much more is found in the description box below the video. Come back for the live show around noon Mountain Time. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.